is up creations and creators i am patrice may and this is divine operation university aka do you and i guess it wouldn't matter where i'm sitting because i'm always sitting here no matter what kind of video i'm doing but you know this moment in this moment in time we are working on some pillow fort messages <laughs> Messages for the collective for the week of September 5th. Okay. So what's coming out? The Eight of Cups and the Magician. Um, so we have people that have healed out of a difficult situation. Um, page of cups on the back, in the back of the deck. I feel like your questions got you out of a situation that you were in. Asking questions, wondering, being curious in some way. Got you out of a situation um, that you were in that was never meant for you, but still hurts to have lost. It feels like uh, you weren't... You weren't ready for it to end, but... It became a crossroads to where it had to the answers to the questions the what you found out um, about your situation about yourself about um, any other party involved in the situation your circumstance something that you found out as a result of your curiosity um, ended this situation <laughs> ended this circumstance your curiosity killed the cat <laughs> it it took the um it took the fun out of it it took the it knocked the wind out of it it kind of just like revealed it for what it was whether that is a job a relationship is what's coming up for me to me but um, it could just be because these are cups, but also it came out as cups for a reason, right? So it feels like a relationship um, that you learned a lesson from. So that's why you're able to walk away from it with your head held high. Um, but you didn't need it or you didn't want it to end. You didn't want it to end the way that it did. Okay, so then we got the magician. And to me, that feels like what you got from the um, that situation, from that circumstance, the lesson that you learned from it, whatever it is that you were able to take from it, is the missing piece that you needed to become your magician in order to manifest what's next, in order to um, see or feel strong enough, feel powerful enough to move into what's coming next, what you're creating next, what you're manifesting, what you're um, putting together next. like the cup in this card i mean the cups are all pretty are all the same right but you can see like this cup could have gone here right she becomes the cup that's walking away and then it sits right here as she's like manifesting and creating what it is that she's what she really wants so based on what she learned from this situation she's now in a position to create what it is that she really wants what's really on her heart She's no longer tied to what's supposed to happen, what it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to look like. And now she can ask for, create what it is that she actually wants out of life as the magician. Because that's what the magician teaches us on our fool's journey, right? So major overall feeling 
of this coming week is that we are in manifestation mode. And so some of us are working on walking away um, with our head held high, <laughs> um, healing through, oh goodness, healing through um, what's happening in that situation. Um, and But all of us are in a spirit of manifestation or in a spirit of making shit happen. Um, for some, uh, what just came out was the Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. So we have some people, okay, so like I said, we're working on being able to walk away from the situation. Some people are being stubborn. And they're like, no, it took me so long to get this situation, to get um, this job. I worked really hard to um, be in this position to work this job, and I don't want to give it up because... You know, I, I built this, you know, I created this, I did this. And so me walking away from it would be giving up on myself, would be quitting, and I'm not a quitter. So some people are conflating, you know, quitting on their journey to leveling up and moving forward and removing themselves from something that they built that was supposed to be the right thing, that was supposed to be fulfillment and bring them confidence and happiness and peace and joy and all the things that they really want. Um, but it wasn't that. It's causing you crazy anxiety. Um, even so, the situation itself is causing you that anxiety. Um, or you're tormenting yourself about whether or not you should walk away from it. Um, it's causing you anxiety. On the other side of it. Is someone handing you a new opportunity is bringing in a new opportunity to you it's coming into you it's making its way to you this is a pinnacle energy so it's slow moving and it feels like it's taking forever that's also a part of your anxiety um you feel like you don't see any manifestations of what it is that the alternative would be you feel like you can't walk away from this situation until it is in front of you until you can see it um until you can see the fruits of your labor because you put so much energy time effort blood, sweat, and tears into what it is that you've built thus far, that to walk away from it would be devastating. Um, but what you don't know is that in the background, um, it's coming in, right? It's coming into you. You just have to, um, emperor on the bottom of the deck is telling me to follow the steps. Follow the steps that were laid out before you. Um, follow the steps that uh, you found when you asked those questions, the answers that you got along the way um, when you were looking for answers. Like you felt like something wasn't right. So you went looking for the answer to that something. You went looking for that something. You found it. Now you see the situation for what it is and you are to follow the steps out the door, <laughs> right? Walk yourself out of there. Take what's being brought into you and turn it into what it is that you actually want, right? So you those of us who walked away have collected that um, that cup. Um, so now we have everything that we need. Those of us who are being stingy with these pinnacles, this feels like a job situation. Um, so some of us are walking away from relationships and now we're able to manifest. Some of us need to walk away from a career path um, so that we can receive what's being handed to us and then we can manifest right then we can turn it into what it is that we need it to be um speak your truth has been calling out to me since before i started shuffling cards speak your truth so for some people um what needs to happen is opening their mouth and saying what needs to be said saying what it is that they want saying that they're done with this situation saying out loud what's really on their heart so that they can create what needs to be created so if you're not walking out of the relationship, you're walking out of the version of the relationship that it is right now. And by speaking your truth, you're opening the door to what's next. You're following the steps into that door, into that portal, into whatever um, the relationship was always meant to be or what it is that you always wanted it to be. Um, you're walking into that space because you have um, shifted. My pizza. Mm. gotta love those senses right <laughs> my physical senses that where I could actually smell the pizza anyway so somebody is needing to speak up about their situation so 
um, for the relationship, either you're turning the relationship around or the job around by speaking your truth um, to your boss, letting them know, you know, I deserve a raise, I work hard here, or I don't like the work environment or, you know, my employees are giving me a hard, or my, um, excuse me, my coworkers are giving me a hard time. Like you need to speak your truth about something, speak up about something that is bothering you. It's giving you, um, it's making it hard to sleep at night. It's something that's keeping you up and getting under your skin, basically. You have other opportunities coming in. You have other things being offered to you. It doesn't, this isn't your end all be all. This isn't the end of your story. story. Although we've come to the end of the road, still I can't let go. It's unnatural. Le -ho. <laughs> you belong to me. down your headphones okay <clears throat> again be honest with yourself is coming out be honest with yourself and <laughs> what story are you telling yourself okay so little homie is not is not playing today um you're not alone in it on the back of the deck so um be honest with yourself what story you're telling yourself is essentially that same thing speak your truth like why are you trying to convince yourself that this is okay? Why are you trying to convince yourself that you can make it work? That with more hard work, with more tape and glue, and <laughs> you know, if I just do what I gotta do, I can continue on this path that I'm on and it's gonna be fine. I can turn it around, I can make it fine. I've done it before, I can do it again. But you have answers this time, you've collected something this time around, this go around, that is not gonna let you just sit back and accept what it is or what it's been right so it's time that you either walk away or open your mouth speak your truth the truth that you have found and then allow that to turn it into something else pay attention to your um self-talk the words that you use um to describe your situation your story um your relationship your job career or whatever right um pay attention to the words that you're using um listen in do some meditation this week listen in just get quiet right that <laughs> a message that's coming in in a couple of different ways but get quiet you're not in it alone right so don't think that you have to do it alone that you can make these decisions like i said this emperor is coming in and say follow the steps so your guides are laying steps out for you um, whether it's the two that we've talked about today, either walking away or speaking up, but following the steps um, that have been laid out for you by your guides, your ancestors, um, your soul family, someone along the way is telling you what to do next, um, allowing you to, of course, make that decision for yourself. But if you are feeling anxious and feeling like you don't know which way to go, following the steps might be a great place to start, no? Um, okay, so that came out earlier. Two, or it was back of the deck earlier, but two of pentacles. I did take a look-see at it. So, yeah, there's juggling energy that you're just kind of trying to figure out what is the best course of action. The queen of wands on the bottom of the deck has a vision. She is a visionary woman. And so, if you consult the vision, consult the part of you that knows what it is that you truly want um, from the inside out that what is like marked into your DNA like what were you called here to do be see create um, figure out whatever it is like all of that is attached to you and coded into your DNA like it's a part of who you are and it's what you're meant to bring out into this world like we need it so um, I don't think <laughs> that you should um, sit on it but absolutely, I completely understand that it is not easy to walk away from something, especially something that you feel like you've built. 
um, with your blood, sweat, and tears. So I, I am feeling this for myself. I definitely understand what's happening here for myself. <laughs> so um, my condolences to you and what you're dealing with and my, you know, prayers go out to you. I have, I just did two meditation methods. So we have um, make sound and focus on your breathing. So some things that you can pay attention to this week, I would say your sense of hearing, if we're talking about making sound. Um, so just think about, um, pay, pay close attention, build a relationship with, just engage in the relationship with your sense of sound, right? What kind of sounds are calling out to you? What kind of things are you hearing in the background of your life? Pay attention to that as well as making sound, whether that's making music, playing singing bowls. I just got me some. I'm so excited. Playing your singing bowls, um, singing in general, um, listening to music, um, paying attention to the lyrics. And then, of course, as described on the card, sound can be such a source of healing, whether it's an instrument or song, a person telling a story or just a sing single elongated tone, you can be healed with sound. It's especially true of the sound is coming from you. If your body has connected a sound to its pain or joy and is asking for release. As you get into a relaxed state, take long and deep breaths. On the exhale, dig deep and let sound come out of your breath. There's no need to force anything. And even if it's only one or none that leave your body, at least you gave it permission. You open the door to that kind of expression and your body will thank you for it. What do we talk about opening a door, okay? Walking through it, taking those steps through it. Um, this talks very much about healing. So there's some healing that needs to happen before you can move into that next step. And so I think using sound to facilitate that healing will be very helpful to you. Focus on your breathing. Put all of your attention into the inhale and exhale of your breath. Box breathing is a great way to get calm when feeling anxious, used by Navy SEALs to get their fear in check on mission. Breathe in for four, hold for four, exhale for four, and hold for four. Repeat as needed, holding each facet of the box for four seconds. Use three, six, nine breaths where you inhale for three seconds, hold for th six seconds, and exhale for nine seconds. This helps when you've gone off with a thought and need to get back into the moment. A simple count of Odds on the inhale and evens on the exhale up to 10 is a classic breathing technique that really keeps you in the moment for its duration. Relax and let your mind be free when you remember, go back to focusing on your breathing. So focusing on your breathing is very helpful to bring you back into the present. So when you're having those anxious nights, maybe it's time to focus on your breathing, play a song, a soothing song or sound or you know, the frequency music, the different vibrations or sound baths or anything like that, that will help to keep you in the present moment so that you can focus on your breathing, that inhale and exhale. I did do one video that talked about this idea that um, you can be in an inhale season of your life or an exhale season. And so um, check that out. Um, as far as these meditation methods go, I do have a download for you to collect them. If I read them too fast, of course, you can always go back and pause and all that fun stuff. But if you want them for yourself, it's a nice little collection of things that you can try to help get you focused and um, mindful. I have the link for that download um, in the description. So that is everything that I have for you this week. It feels like we are moving forward, walking away from things that no longer serve us, or shifting the energy around them by speaking up and sharing our truth, um, knowing what that is by consulting our guides and um, our vision, and then just getting ready to release it out into the world, right? We're manifesting, we're creating what's really and truly on our hearts, what's really and truly going to serve us and the world around us and all of the people that are attached and connected to us. And so I think we're in a beautiful time and I can't wait to see what you all create. So thank you so much for being here in this moment. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. I pray that this message serves you, blesses you in some way. I thank you and I love you. Bye.